Hello and welcome to another screencast video on IT Expert Voice. I'm your host, David Strom. Today we examine what's new with Windows 7 PowerShell Integrated Scripting Environment, or ISE, a visual command line editor that used to be called Graphical PowerShell. Many of us are familiar with the old trusty DOS command prompt with things like FDisk and Format that you're seeing here in directory listings. PowerShell ISE gives you Visual Studio style debugging features and as you can see here there are three window panes interactive one for typing in your commands, one that shows the contents of a stored script and one that outputs the results. It's built on top of the .NET framework runtimes and can manipulate .NET objects too instead of simple text as the DOS command prompt did. To get started, go to Start All Programs, Accessories, open the PowerShell folder, click on the ISC entry. You can customize the display by moving the various panes around by clicking on the buttons on the top of the screen. The basics of PowerShell are called commandlets, which are simple collections of more than 100 command line parameters that can be packaged together to perform very complex tasks, as you see them scrolling by here. Let's start with a simple example. Say we want to select some text from our old ipconfig command. We use the following and you can see the results where we look for a 255 in the IP address. Like many Unix-based and other scripting environments, you can use pipes, those vertical bars, to pass results of one commandlet to be used as inputs to another one. Four useful commandlets are based on formatting output. Unlike the dreaded DOS command that you would wipe your disk clean, these are used to process output in lists or tables. For example, the command get service shows you a list of running services on your computer, and if you pipe this into a table with format list, it'll be organized as you can see here. There's a lot more depth to PowerShell, and it's very easy to learn if you spend some time with the help files. And indeed, if you preface any command with get help, you'll see the online help in the results window. You can save collections of commands to a file with a PS1 extension and then run them directly. As you can imagine, this could create all sorts of opportunities for malicious code, so see the help file on execution policies to get more information. This is David Strom. Thanks for watching, and take a look at our other videos on Windows 7 and articles at itexpertvoice.com.